Hello and welcome to Poland. This unusual structure out there, that's a part of a torpedo testing range that was built by Nazi Germany as from November of 1940. This is, I have to say, a tourist attraction and to a certain extent, and certainly there are people here right now, even though it's not that easy to get to and it's a bit of a hike from Gdynia. Nonetheless, you can see it's in a very sorry state. Let's have a look at some other things we've got around here. So we can see some of the uh, concrete down there. Is this part of the structures that once were built here? Who knows? I don't know at all. And there's the beach. We've got wonderful beaches on the Baltic in Poland. But uh, unfortunately, uh, they uh, it's cold here in the winter. Let's place this now geographically because uh, that will give you a better idea. This is the Bay of Putsk. It's part of the larger uh, Gdansk Bay and uh, if we go over there for example that, that is um, places like uh, Reva and uh, Putsk obviously uh, but it's here in front it might just come out. I'm going to get the camera in a bit closer and you might be able to make out over there we've got the Hell Peninsula and the Hell Peninsula goes all the way around. Over here down there it is open sea but uh, the Hell Peninsula is really long. Now uh, why choose this area and why build it? So uh, when Nazi Germany uh, went into World War II, started World War II, it didn't actually produce uh, airborne to uh, marine torpedoes. And those torpedoes that it had were imported from Japan uh, to a lesser extent, but mainly from Italy. Now, there was a testing range to the west uh, on the Baltic Sea, but this was a very good location. Now, I had a theory uh, although I don't, uh, I've now changed my mind on this one, but I'll tell you the theory anyway. Uh, and it was this, is that on it, um, it was the 10th of November uh, 1940, there was the British attack on the Italian fleet at Taranto. And even though it got off to a sort of a dreadful start by alerting the uh, Italian forces that they were in the area because the plane got there too early and then just circled around, they did considerable damage to the Italian fleet. And I've got to put this into some sort of historical uh, analysis. The uh, Japanese studied the British attack on the Italian fleet in uh, a great deal of de uh, detail so that they then used the same ideas in their assault on Pearl Harbor. Now, I thought that it was the Taranto attack. Well, now I've changed my mind. Now, I have really tried uh, to look for uh, um, archive evidence of what was going on here. When, were, when was the uh, first plans to build this? I don't know. But this started to be built. This complex, which is around here, and I'm now going to take the camera out of it, uh, started uh, construction in November of 1940. And what we've got here is the forest. But uh, there was once uh, as many as 2,000 people actually working here. And behind this here we have the, uh, there's an airport, there's an airport today and that airport existed from before the war. It's a military airport, there's a Polish military base even today behind here. But under socialist times that heat round here was off, off bounds, you couldn't actually come here, as was a large part of the Hell Peninsula. There are still some buildings around, uh, so, so if I come around here one can see uh, one building which may, may be, may date to the Nazi times, I, I don't know. But uh, 2,000 people, they had to live somewhere so they lived in this area and um, they worked in this area developing torpedoes. Uh, one thing I'd like to point out is that there will be more information in the description, if I remember to put it in, of course. Because the type of torpedoes, I sort of trace this and I try to trace where they were actually uh, used. And I don't want to say anything incorrect <laughs> at the moment, but I'll put that, I'll put that one in the description. So, uh, 
to come back to what they were doing. So this was built here. Now this, uh, the sea here is relative, is shallow. Indeed, there's a place up here where there's a, there's a sand bank at Reva, and you can uh, uh, sometimes you can walk through the sea to the Hell Peninsula. Uh, it's that. It's that it's organized uh, walk is arranged. Um, uh, you can't just do it. I don't think you can just do it by yourself. But anyway, but it's it, it one can do that. And uh, it's, it's Sipel Revsky, so this sandbar that goes from Reva into the sea. Further up here, uh, we've got uh, Putsk. Now, it, Putsk was the first uh, German um, naval air base. It might have been one of the first naval air bases in the world. Um, see that in another video. At the time of doing this though, even though I've written all the notes and filmed this, I haven't actually put it together yet. But that's up there. Reva and was the first Polish uh, naval base as well. It's the place where the uh, when Poland became independent, it was the first place on the sea uh, It's where uh, the Polish army actually got to. At least that's the, uh, that's the myth. And I know from my experience that talking about myths, often uh, myths don't happen to be true. So, coming back around here, so we've got the uh, Hell Peninsula there. And the Hell Peninsula, there is Yastania. And at Yastania, one can see today, still, the observation decks are visible. So, this was built, start, constru construction started in November 1940. It wasn't finished until 1942. Uh, so the Battle of the Atlantic, for example, was well in the way. And these, these sort of missiles, uh, torpedoes I should say, probably had more use in the Mediterranean than they did in the Baltic. The Soviet fleet, until 1945, really wasn't much threat and then in 1945 the threat came from submarines and so we've got these huge naval losses such as the Wilhelm Gusloff or the uh, Goya and many others uh, videos which you can't see on this on this channel <laughs> and uh, so um, so they tested the torpedoes uh, from here using the shallow water easy to look at but and very importantly it was outside the range of uh, aircraft based in the United Kingdom so there was no way that this actually effectively could have been bombed uh, by the time longer range aircraft were introduced I suppose it was possible let's not forget forget that the RAF plastered Pinamunda but Pinamunda is what 480 kilometers or so to the west of here so an extra thousand kilometers flying time maybe they couldn't actually have reached it so um there are two such uh training uh, areas testing areas here there's this one and there's another one which is down there and uh, uh the main uh one can see as as well now, um, it is rather strange to actually come here and see something like this. Here, we'll just uh, now actually walk around a bit because at the end of the day, it should be a walk and talk video, seeing as I'm doing it uh, as, I, as I speak. So we've got to um, we'll go down to the beach uh, down here. And uh, we can see uh, the area on the on the beach this is november so it's not the uh won't, won't be doing any swimming at least i won't there, was, there are people there are people out at sea at the moment there's also seals here as well now this is my favorite place anywhere i mean uh, northern poland uh, that is and there's some wonderful places on the beaches here and if you had a summer like there wasn't this year which is 2022 then uh, it's absolutely outstanding uh place place to be So there you have a little bit of the story of this torpedo testing area. And as I said before, but I have to make this clear, I would like to tell you more. The reason I can't tell you more is it's not, well, it's because I don't know it, but it's not just me that doesn't know it. It's really been difficult doing the research 
for this, trying to find stuff. I know there are materials in one archive in Germany, but um, on digital archives, there is absolutely nothing that I found. I'm not saying there's absolutely nothing, just maybe I'm useless at finding things, but there's nothing, <laughs> nothing more really that I can add to the story. But anyway, so we'll have a quick look around. Now here's a swan in the sea. Uh, first time I saw swans, oh, a bit of wind, sorry. First time I saw a swan in the sea, I thought it was quite strange, but it's quite common here. <laughs> and I look round at the beach. So, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for being with me. I upload every Friday at 20 hundred hours Central European time and um, certainly if I find more about this then I'll be saying it. I also actually did film the other end from Urata uh, in uh, 2021 and so I might actually come back to this if more information uh, turns up about it. But for the moment this is me in Babiadou uh, Babiadoa, sorry, uh, uh, signing out. Thanks for watching.